ago, it was a class in the theater program, and um, the members of that class liked doing improv so much uh, that they decided to form a club, and what that turned into was doing a show once a week, um, and it's just, it's, it's held up, it's pretty, it's uh, pretty popular now, but traditionally we do a show here in Millard uh, once a week and we just make things up on the spot. Uh, our MC uh, sends out a list of the games we have for that night, um, and she'll order them up and show us what games we're doing, which order, um, and then also who's in what game. When I see the list, I try to think if I've ever played that game before or if I haven't, um, and if I have played a game that I'm put in, then I think about things that helped or which scenes went well and why it went well. Um, if I haven't been in a game that I'm put on, then usually I try to talk to someone who's been in that game um, or figure out like what are the ways that this game works because different games have different strategies that go behind it. It's typically short form improv, it's, it's fairly short cut and there's usually a punchline that's already kind of set up in the structure of the game that we just have to find on our own. We have rehearsals, a two hour rehearsal before the show, which is always really fun. Rehearsal is really awesome because we kind of get to relax um, and still practice like running through what it looks like to do each game, uh, the mechanics of what makes it work, um, but we mostly do it to enjoy ourselves and we're not doing it for an audience, so um, it's really relaxing for ourselves and gets rid of a lot of stress. Uh, rehearsal is probably like one of the most fun parts about being on the improv team because you don't have to feel pressure of like a ton of people are watching me. Everyone who's watching me knows what it's like to be on that stage. Um, they know what it's like to like be there and have to think of things like on the spot. So you get to just um, enjoy yourself and think of what comes to your head and say it. Honestly, I wish we could show people what we do at rehearsal because there's a lot of fun that comes out of that. And sometimes even the rehearsing is funnier than the actual show. <laughs> and it's also really helpful because after each scene you get to ask your team members like, what can I work on? How can I improve? Um, and, and you get to watch other people too and think like, if I was in that scene, what would I be doing and how can I help them to work on it? So it's really like a good space for us to hone our skills and, and just have fun and enjoy each other and, and laugh at our jokes. There's a lot of things people don't see just from coming to a show and looking at it um, and seeing a scene. Um, as a, like an improv team, we act more like a family, especially since we only have improv on one day a week. So the rest of the week we see each other and we just have these random inside jokes or funny phrases that we'll repeat or uh, laugh about with each other. Um, we also have like a family dinner after every show, we try to at least, um, and we get to just talk and laugh and there's no pressure, and there's no audience and we just get to be funny and authentic together. There definitely is an odd separation in being on the team because when the lights go up and everyone's sitting down and they're watching you, you feel a little bit like a different person. I think the biggest thing is working with people. Um, a lot of times when you're on the stage, you're having to notice body language and eye contact and almost like try to guess what the person you're working with is about to do so you can work alongside them. I also look at who's with me in a game um, and I try and think about their comedy style um, and kind of know how we'd mesh together in that, in that scene. Um, there are a lot of times where it's really funny when the audience knows that you don't know what you're planning to do and when you do something coordinated together it's really funny because it shows that you guys work as well as a team. Mm -hmm. So kind of just learning other people, learning their styles and um, just working together. Beyond just being silly on stage, it also really helps you craft um, wit. Um, I've personally felt like it's helped me in conversation. It's helped me be a more charismatic person because I know how to think quickly and I know how to entertain. The biggest thing that I learned about myself, and this like kept coming throughout the whole year of being on the improv team, is what it means to like be a yes and person. Um, one of the biggest things about improv is being able to say yes to the people that you're doing a scene with and then adding on to it to make it even funnier and making the scene bigger and better. Um, and that's something that I do in my real life and I didn't realize it and realizing that that's something I'm doing and how that's beneficial and helpful and like just being a good friend or being a good person and um, cooperating with people in my life beyond just doing improv sketches. Yeah, I've learned about my comedy style and what kind of things that um, I enjoy. Um, making fun of and turning into a piece of comedy. I think I want people to know that everybody who's on improv really cares about what we're putting out there and we really want people to have a good time and to enjoy themselves. 
Um, we're not just going on there like for one hour every week just to like be goofy and be silly and feel good about ourselves. Um, that's a result a lot of times and it's really fun, but uh, we care about the work that we're doing and we put a lot of work into it and we do critique each other. Like we do work hard to make sure that what we're putting out is good and um, we practice and we like disassemble each sketch and like work on what was good here, what was bad here. Um, and we care about it, like it is an art form and um, yeah, it's fun and it's silly and sometimes it seems like we don't know what we're doing, but it's better when we do and we work really hard to know what we're doing with the students. And we are run independently um, as students on campus. Um, we're not like an organization, we're just a student run club at the heart of it. I guess, uh, I'll be fine. Yeah, I can't, it's a quadruple then! <laughs>